Have you ever wanted to try an epoxy inlay with a laser engraving? Or wanted to experiment with different colors? This was my first time inlaying with bronze. You'll have to tell me if this was a success or a fail. Hi, it's Dale from Elephant Memories. In today's video, I'll be making some cocktail boards as an accessory for our wicked cocktail smokers. I'll be experimenting with a bronze pigment and we'll also show you a very quick and easy way to fix a stray resin bubble that could otherwise wreck a perfectly good inlay. So let's jump in. I've cut a piece of live edge walnut on the bandsaw and did multiple passes on the laser so the design is about a sixteenth to an eighth inch deep. I sealed the grains around the design with two coats of shellac, then let dry overnight. Here, I have about 35 grams of epoxy for each board and will mix with my pigments. Now just pour the epoxy on the engraving. This board had a crack which had been partially filled with epoxy before being tossed aside. The crack still had voids, so I just added a little more to fill it in. A blast of the torch to pop the surface bubbles. I like to use a fine tip silicone brush to push into the engraving. This helps release trapped bubbles. I prefer this not to drip off the side, so I'm going to remove a little epoxy with a silicone spreader. Let this sit for 48 hours. Sand a majority of the epoxy off with 60 to 80 grit sandpaper. Try not to touch the wood as it could leave an uneven surface. You could put this through a planer, but it could really dull the blades fast and will leave a lot of epoxy dust. I find it easier just to sand. Once you start getting close to the wood surface, you can start seeing the design. At this point, I'll switch to 180 grit paper. Use this grit until all the extra epoxy is removed and you're left with a fairly clean inlay. Change the paper again to 220 grit. This will create a crisp and sharp detailed edge on the inlay and smooth out the wood surface. Finally, I like to sand all the edges and corners of the board. Since we have a live edge, it's okay that the edges aren't perfect. I like to see some of the saw marks and wormholes too. It definitely adds character. Okay, now use an air compressor to remove all the dust from the grains and the epoxy surface. This will show you any hidden cracks or bubbles. So I did find a few holes in the epoxy at the crack. I'll leave a link in the description below to a full tutorial on how to fix bubbles. But since we only have a small area, I'm going to do a quick but full fix on this and this only takes a few minutes. UV resin doesn't need a hardener to cure. Instead, you just need a strong UV light. I'm just adding a dab. Use a toothpick to make sure it gets deep into the hole. And add more as needed. Once it self-levels, you can add your light. I found a strong light works best. I'll set this for 120 seconds. I also like to cover it to reduce any airflow. Sometimes you'll find it's still a little tacky. At this point, I just add a little clean water. 
I poured it into the bottle cap so not to spill it. And you see how well that worked out for me. It's just water, no need to cry. Let's try that again. This time, just a drop of water will do. Add the light for 120 seconds and cover. Perfect. Just let the wood dry before quick sand with 220 grit paper to smooth it over. You'll want to clean the board surface with some alcohol before we add the finish. Pour a little on a clean rag. Apparently, I'm just going to be spilling over everything today. Good thing alcohol dries really fast. We are now in the home stretch. I use a two-part finishing system on these. I start with an all-natural hydrating wood serum. This is very fluid and will really penetrate down deep into the wood. Over time, your wood will get too dry and eventually crack like the one on the right. By rehydrating the wood, it helps prevent cracks and preserve it. Add a liberal amount and let it soak in. You may have to do this several times depending on how dry the wood is. Finally, we'll add an all-natural wax conditioner. The one I like is beeswax and coconut oil based. This is going to help keep the wood from drying out over time. Apply with a rag in circles to massage right into those grains. Then use a clean, dry rag to buff the board. So the black inlay has tons of details, whereas the bronze does not show up quite as well. However, in person, the effect on this is pretty cool. What do you think? Do you like the bronze effect? What designs and colors would you like to see me do in the next inlay video? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and ideas for makers like you. We'll see you next time.